Hey Taurus, welcome to your August reading. And let me tell you, Taurus, there is so much going on in the month of August. So, so, so much energy is going on. So I did my best here to kind of hone in on the most important things happening for August. So the very first major aspect that we have happening in August is the full moon on August 7th. And that's going to be in Aquarius. For you, that's your 10th house of career and legacy. So the best way I feel like to do this is just hone in, since there's so many different aspects, the, the, I want them to be clear messages, Taurus. I've actually recorded this video a couple of times, and the energy, you know, with the Mercury retrograde coming up and all that, whew, I can definitely feel it. So the best way to do this with patience and for the clearest messages for you is just to separate the energies to keep a clear communication with spirit. So the first thing I'm going to ask guidance and messages for is the full moon in your house of career on the 7th. So what can Taurus expect with the Aquarius full moon happening on the 7th? <laughs> okay, so... The first card I have for you, Taurus, is the Four of Wands. So some of you Tauruses, this is this is a great card. It's like one of my favorite cards. It's definitely a celebrating energy. You see the two people here celebrating, and there's a party in the background. You can see the people gathering and talking. And what I get for this card, Taurus, is that these people just moved in somewhere. It's like a celebration of a home. But, you know, it's also a wedding energy. So some of you Tauruses may have getting married, you may be having a wedding, either if you're going to someone else's wedding and you know what happens then, especially for the feminine Tauruses when you go to weddings and just women in general, you know, I've seen it that, you know, you start thinking like, oh yeah, just especially if you're with somebody, you know, like, oh yeah, just this is so great. I can't wait till my wedding day. It puts the wedding thoughts in your mind. But this is coming up for you here, Taurus, definitely a celebration of home or, you know, with someone but it's it's definitely feeling like a party being thrown at your house this party is being thrown for these two people those people are having a having a you know celebration for something about these two people Taurus so whatever that means for you Taurus out there I definitely see some celebration coming in and remember we're going to apply these energies to this full moon on the 7th so yes and for that to be in your career you might be celebrating something in your career maybe some of you are getting a promotion or a new job that could be so and then the next energy we have is the eight of pentacles and this energy shows someone who's you know i i relate this to self-work taurus because he's working alone and you can see that a town is not too far away but he's definitely left home to work on some things and he's working on his own values so this speaks directly to you Taurus because you know I feel like this is you working you know this is definitely a good energy to reflect on the 10th house because this is his career you know so it's what you see yourself doing it's it's taking that work you know he's actually designing he's he made all these pinnacles right he's made them and he's working on one of his last one he has like one more to do and he, this is like just showing your hard work, Taurus, you know, so for full moon and light to be shining on your 11th, I mean, in, on your 10th house, you know, things in your job, maybe you're actually going to be um, seen and acknowledged for the hard work that you've done, not only for yourself, but for other people. This is definitely, definitely some an energy you want to focus on for your 10th house. There's maybe some work that you have to do you know alone on your own you know maybe you guys are working in jobs where you work a little bit more where the weight's on you i'm not sure if that speaks to you taurus that's definitely what i'm seeing for taurus energy i'm just gonna hone in just just because you know I, I just want these messages to be clear so let's see i see a celebration happening i definitely see a celebration happening with taurus with someone else and I also see that happening because you've worked on yourself and because you've worked on your own personal values. Okay. And then we have the Nine of Wands. So we had an Eight energy, and this is the Nine of Wands. This card's a little peculiar and interesting, but it shows an injured man, right? And Taurus, you might have been going through some things, but it shows an injured man who has one more battle 
to do, right? And this is actually the Nine of Wands. I, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, the Nine of Wands. Okay. I always just like to make sure, geez, especially with the Mercury retrograde, communication, man. But this is also a reflection of your career and legacy. So when it comes to your legacy in the world, Taurus, maybe you, you know, you have gotten a lot of, you know, quarrels and fights, you know, I'm not feeling anything too serious, but you've definitely felt like you're, you've battled some things, Taurus. This could be things with yourself, things with other people, you know, whatever it is that you're feeling personally when you, when you hear this, Taurus. But this is the universe coming in saying, hold on, Taurus, there's only one more battle to fight. So when it comes to your career, if you're having any problems, you know, if you're feeling like there's too much work that you're doing on your own and maybe people aren't pu pulling their weight, there's only one more battle. So soon that is all going to change. And it might have a lot to do with this Aquarius energy, you know, these eclipses with Leo and Aquarius. Like, it's definitely activating the North Node, which is controls karma in our universe. So August is the beginning of all this energy, Taurus, and whatever's been going on, a lot is going to change. And I want you to feel okay because the Taurus card actually showed up for my reading, and I love when that happens. So your energy, the Hierophant, actually showed up, and I still want to relate this to the 10th house energy. So when I see this card, it definitely, I definitely hear advice. Um, there's these people that are looking to this man, and I see this as you, Taurus. You see the bull? That's definitely your energy, the Hierophant, and you're, you definitely are royal. This is kind of a king, queen energy. He has the wand, so he's a very powerful figure, very authoritarian, like authoritarian. And, you know, he has the red, which is passion and fire energy, and he has the key to life, the balance. So Taurus, in your, with this moon, you might just be applying more so your energy to things. You might be in a position of power, you know, and it might be because of how hard you've been working on yourself. So you might have been doing all this work and it's actually put you even more so into a personal energy, you know. So there's definitely just, the battles are ending for you, Taurus, and I do want to show you this card which was on the bottom of my deck this is the four of pentacles and i do think it relates to the 10th house energy because this is more of a i know that this card is a beware of greediness card but this is showing up for you to show you that it might be time to protect your values more taurus and especially now that we're in leo season which is another fixed sign so you're definitely affected by that and this man you can see here that he's definitely proud of the pinnacles he's made, you know, and he's holding on tight, he's got one balancing on his head, and the other two are right under his feet, and then we have another picture where the town is left in the distance. So there might be a community, you know, Aquarius, it's not your 11th house, but it is the 11th house on the wheel. So these energies are definitely showing us about the communities we live in, and it's showing us about, you know, the communities that we're around people and groups that we work with, especially for you, Taurus, that that could be, you know, the peers and things that you work with in your job. And the universe is telling you that it's okay to stand a little bit on your own, especially if you're reuniting with somebody. There has to be an energy because you're very independent. So you're going to probably be balancing your finances with other finances, which is the typical Scorpio and Taurus opposition, the, the values you have and then the values that you have intimately with other people. So that's just something to think about around the 7th. But then, dun dun dun, we have a Mercury retrograde on the 12th happening in Virgo at first, and then at the end it's going to go into Leo. So it's 5th and 4th house energy for you, Taurus. I'm just going to ask for any messages happening for the retrograde. Well, there's definitely some balance coming for you, Taurus, with this Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde isn't always a, a scary thing, you know. People always talk about the miscommunications that happen, and I mean, it is some crazy energy. But for you, Taurus, we have the same card that popped out again, the Four of Pentacles, attached to the Nine of Cups. So, Taurus, you not only do you have a wish coming true and fulfillment and contentment with surrounded by your values, but it's attached to keep it yours. So the people in your unit, your partner, your family, the people who you value, 
it's okay to be greedy and even if it's just you Taurus like it's even if it's just you you have a wish coming in and the universe is telling you don't be afraid to be greedy with it Taurus this is because you're the second house you know and so to apply that to your fifth house of pleasure you know I mean what's more pleasurable than that you know getting like all your wishes fulfilled this is a wish make a wish Taurus it's coming to you if you if you have been making wishes maybe about your fourth house like where you um live or maybe about pleasure anything like that and maybe you have pleasure having a nice home does cause Taurus pleasure so you know maybe a wish for a new home you know moving in with someone or starting a family Taurus I feel all of that energy for you and this is happening on the 12th Mercury retrograde but if I was a Taurus I really wouldn't worry because Mercury retrograde is like a blast from the past so there's going to be things that we reflect you know in the past about and for Taurus it's just going to put you right on the path to like a gift that's literally for you and who you share this gift with Taurus is totally up to you you know but there's definitely a gift coming in for you Taurus all right and that is happening in your fourth and fifth house of pleasure and home so I think overall Taurus the reason why this balance energy is coming up for you is because you're finally going to be feeling that balance in life you're finally going to be feeling and you know maybe it's been some problems happening in your home and this card just popped out ever so gracefully Taurus so you definitely have the power to make decisions you definitely have I felt the energy when this popped out like there is some there is power in growth decision making coming for Taurus like this definitely showed itself for you we're going to see what this eclipse in Leo on the 21st is going to do. And also, Taurus, I wanted to mention to you whoa, that Venus, your ruling planet, is going to be entering Leo on the 26th. So that's very important for you. Definitely didn't want to forget to mention that because, you know, we have that total lunar, total lunar eclipse on um, the 21st in your fourth house of home. And then we have Venus moving into your fourth house. No wonder you're going to be loving your house and stuff like that because Venus is the planet of attraction, you know. So after that Ace of Swords pops out, which I kept, we had these two cards pop out, Taurus. And I can't remember if it's this video. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to be honest. I've done this video a couple times because I'm just getting mad interference and I, I really am serious about the messages I relay. So I really don't, I don't want to sound stupid, but this has came up for you before, Taurus, whether it was this video or the, the couple of error videos I had before this. But this is showing itself for Taurus. So there's definitely, I do think it was this reading though. This is definitely, definitely applies to you, Taurus. This showed itself again for you. So it just it actually makes me feel a lot better when messages reappear like that because it, it, no, I know that it was, you know, legit. But yes, Taurus, you are definitely working on yourself. And there's just another, one more battle that Spirit is trying to tell you about. This is, I literally feel the universe saying that to Taurus. It's okay, Taurus. Keep working on yourself. You have one more battle. And I do feel like it's a self battle. But don't forget about the Ace of Swords that's showing itself because the power is definitely there for you, Taurus. And I also have these cards here, which is the Chariot card and the Fool card. So you may have a new beginning. Your Taurus is on a new beginning, I'm hearing, with their emotions. And, and maybe a new beginning started for Taurus in Cancer season because these energies definitely paired themselves together for you. So this is also, you know, a balancing of dark and light energy. And it's a new journey, Taurus. The Fool card is coming to you and showing you that you have a new journey up ahead. You definitely have new energy coming in for you. And for this, you know, of course, because eclipses, this is this is the energy that you should relate to the on the 21st, you know, the fourth house energy with the Leo eclipse. There's definitely new, it's new beginning. It's an eclipse in the in the where the north node is so of course of course there's going to be new beginnings if for you taurus it's about your home because because cancer is the fourth house so cancer energy is showing up for you and that's why you're just doing this last little work last little bit of work on yourself and this is for taurus moons taurus risings you know so definitely definitely pay attention here to those messages and i want to oh cool so bottom of my deck was the two of pentacles and right under that was the Leo card, the strength card. So for me, I'm seeing that a lot of Tauruses are actually with their twin flames. This is like a twin flame card. Um, so I definitely heed that. But also, you know, this card has a few other meanings, which is the ups and downs of life, 
but it's somebody who's been handling that very well and it doesn't surprise me Taurus because it's a very fixed energy and you're a fixed sign so you're very stable when it comes to your finances you're the house of value so Taurus you must have been doing very well lately even those of you out there who don't apply to this message who maybe think that you haven't been doing so well you're most likely a Taurus that is like way too hard on yourself when it comes to your your values because it's showing me that you have the strength you know so maybe for some of you because I'm a Pisces and I'm very very positive so some of you Tauruses if you're out there and you don't feel like you have have been having this balanced energy with your finances and your values you do have the strength and Leo season is going to show you that Leo season is going to bring the balance for you we did have the temperance card so there's lots of balance coming for you Taurus and you have the strength to handle this is what I'm hearing and we had literally, you know, the sun and the moon's energy show up for you. Leo is ruled by the sun. The cancer is ruled by the moon. So there's so much balance here for you, Taurus. And you definitely have the power also. So let's see. I'm just going to see if there's any messages. I was, we have a few more minutes. So Taurus, is there any messages that I missed with all this interference going on, Spirit? Is there anything else that you want to say? Well, I hope you guys seen that because I did not fake that. These cards just came out again. So you guys, Taurus, you look at your strength and look at, it's about applying that strength to decisions that you have to make about yourself, about your home, about your career. All this is coming up with these eclipses happening. And I definitely sense newness coming in because this card was at the top of my deck again. So these energies are very potent. Paired with the Knight of Pentacles, which is a very protected individual, very bold figure that has found something new of value. So maybe that's what's going on for you, Taurus, is, you know, you guys are the, ho the second house of value. So you may have, you know, especially back in Taurus season, you've been learning more about your values. So of course you're stronger. And now it's, a, it's time to apply that strength to decision making. There's lots of decisions that these eclipses and this full moon is going to bring up for you. And I just want to remind you that you have the strength. And also another card that came out is the Page of Wands. So it's, the, it's talking about this fire energy, Taurus. You know, you are an earth sign. And I know fire is, is kind of scary for earth signs because you can burn the whole forest down if you're not careful. But it's okay, because it shows that you have the strength to utilize correctly and most efficiently. This is a very fire energy, all the orange and bright red colors, and it's the Page of Wands, so it's like an adventurous energy, like something's about to take off, and that's definitely true, because we have these cards together, you know, this is the, f the Fool, and it, it shows the sun there, you know, Leo's ruled by the sun, so the, the Leo sun is literally lighting up for you Taurus it's lighting your way through a new beginning with these newfound emotions and you have someone loyal I'm also hearing that you're you have someone loyal and pure on your side you know he has the flower and he's packed he has everything he needs in that little bag and that's quite like Taurus Taurus always has everything they need male or female you guys are just very prepared people so I really hope that helped Taurus I really really hope that helped Hmm. This is so interesting because these cards showed up for you again. There was a stack that showed up in one of my other videos, so we have a little bit of time. I'm just going to, this was in my other hand, so I'm just going to interpret this. Um, I have these two cards here, paired Taurus, so it's the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. So this can be you, this is basically you grounding energies that have taken from you. And that just goes so with this new beginning. So Taurus, if you've been getting taken advantage of in, in past lives or in, in the past, that's ending. This energy is ending for you. This, these are both sunny cards. Like in the background, they're sunny. So there's some sunlight coming in for you, Taurus. I can hear that. And this is a grounded energy, the King of Pentacles. So you're going to be the king of, and so grounded. Like these people don't stand a chance in your life. They do not stand a chance in your life. And um, I'm really happy these have popped out again. I'm really happy because that means that the messages were right. But So you definitely have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, and Justice coming in. So this might be for your 10th house energy. 
because justice, you know, that's the Libra energy. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra, but this also stands for like any court matters, any anything like that, anything to have to do with like financial court matters. There's going to be justice with the Ace of Pentacles. So you have a blessing coming in, Taurus, and it's because justice is being served to you. And of course, we have these cards coming up again, Taurus. We've seen all these cards already. So there's some repetitive energy for you. So really take a look at these cards and hone in on how these apply to you specifically. It speaks to one more battle, one more self battle. So there's just one more thing, one more completing of an energy. And there's twin flame energy attached to the cancer card. You know, so this is emotional. You have, might have an emotional twin flame that some of you Tauruses are with. And then there's, there's definitely a celebration going on about balance because we have the three of cups with the six of coins. So there's a balance going on in your career. And that's because this 10th house energy, this on the seventh, this 10th ten, ten house, ten, ten house energy, this is just, you know, extra messages for spirit that can come out here that I, you know, that I might have missed. So yes, there's definitely a celebration going on with Taurus. You're feeling very balanced. You know, this is both a balancing energy coming up for you. And there's a lot of pinnacles here, too. So it's definitely in money. And you have a transformation, Taurus, maybe with a Scorpio. There may be some type of rebirth happening, you know. Don't be afraid of the death card. It's just, it's, you know, it is an, your opposite card. But it doesn't mean bad things. You know, nothing's ever all the way bad or all the way good. There's very, very positive aspects to this. This card speaks to the new beginnings that happen when things end, you know. And there are tons of new beginnings happening for you, Taurus. And new beginnings are going to cause transformations, you know, as you get better with balancing your finances. And there's a fire energy showing up for you again with the salamanders, but this time it's the Knight of Wands. So, you know, this Leo energy, it could cause some, like, um, more harsh energy, like, a more, like, protected energy, you know, because some people, you know, you, you know, Taurus, not everybody's trustworthy. But and everything is changing for you, Taurus. We have the Wheel of Fortune card thrown in here, too. And you are on this card, Leo and Taurus. <clears throat> I mean, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo. All of the fixed signs are on this card. This is a good luck card. And, it, and that shows already for your reading, Taurus. Like, you're very showered in good luck and blessings right now. And I love that this card showed up for you because it's just the turning of the wheel. You know, and I never noticed that figure right there, so... It looks like a fox, you know, like sly as a fox. So ever so slyly, the wheel of fortune is going to turn in your favor. And we do have a little bit of dark energy coming here. So we have this four of cups showing itself. So there might be some Tauruses out there that I didn't get to speak to. And this is an energy where, you know, you've this man has retreated to earth and he is in deep thought about how much he has but he's not considering the otherworldly aspects of value right and i did see that card for you taurus this card this was on the other side of my deck so the seven of cups this is also an energy about going within to find more value so taurus you might be finding value with your own self and inside you like what value you have inside now i'm my cards have also chosen to Oh, wow, Taurus. My cards have also told me to show you these. These cards came up. So these are these must be the things that are ending for you, Taurus, or maybe some of you need to evaluate these energies in your life because we have the, a codependent relationship attached to left out in the cold. So you, the universe is asking you to finally let go of these that some of these bonds that some of you Tauruses may have out there. If you have someone in your life that is leaving you out in the cold, look at how dark and cold and sad and these energies feel, you know, but I do feel like these are ending because the next card is the Queen of Swords, you know, so you have a very intellectual energy either around you or, you know, it's an energy that you're embodying and, and that's a great energy to attack that cold left out demonic energy, you know. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles, which shows an almost completion of something. 
So let's take a look. She has all those grapes around her, you see? It's so sunny, and we I know you see the trees, Taurus. You're an earth sign. So this is an earthly figure as it is, someone who's very in tune with nature and in tune with fruitation and gardening. This is an earth motherly energy. And it just it's coming up to show you, Taurus, that and even you male Tauruses, it's showing you that you have so much abundance surrounding you right now. Leo season has brought the sunlight and it's just so abundant for you, Taurus. And this just blew my mind. You also have the world card, which is very similar to the Wheel of Fortune card, which if I could find, it's also, like, just pause on that real quick, Taurus, because these are important too. This is the Nine of Pentacles, which is right before the Ace of Pentacles. So technically you have 10 of Pentacles. Just saying, Taurus. You have a lot to work with here. And I cannot find the Wheel of Fortune card because it must have, the Wheel of Fortune must have just shifted. I'm just kidding, I found it. But here it is. These cards are very similar to each other. And oh my God, this is just complete change. Like the world is turning, right? And this is all caused by that, this Leo Aquarius energy, these North and South nodes, you know, and you're a fixed sign. So for the, the North and South node to be in fixed signs, you as a fixed sign feel it, you know, a little bit more than the rest of the signs. So you have all the fixed signs on this card and all the fixed signs here in the world and the Wheel of Fortune show up in your reading, Taurus, to show you that everything around you is shifting and moving. Everything is in balance and is in divine order. And we also have ending the reading, ending the, the cards. The Seven of Wands. So with all this energy, Taurus, you're definitely put in a higher position and people are going to envy you and want what you have. So we have this figure who's reached the top of a mountain, but he's dealing with enemies below trying to knock him down. So just beware of that, Taurus. Beware of people wanting what you have. But it's really okay because the Aries card shows itself for you. And this is a very wise figure, very wise ram type of figure who holds the world in his hands and that's what I'm hearing for you Taurus is that this fire energy has really given you the power to hold the world in your hands quite literally because the world card and the wheel of fortune card showed up for you so there is definitely some positive energy for you with all these changes happening in your 10th house and some energy in your 5th and your 4th house. I would definitely mark your calendar for Venus moving into Leo on the 26th because the North Node is here. So this is going to be, you know, that 3 of Cups, I mean the 2 of Cups energy that showed itself for you. There's definitely some Twin Flame soulmates coming in for Taurus, I hear. And the energy is moving very, very fast, I hear. The Moon card, you know. So the Moon card, it's the Moon. The Moon is definitely going to bring a lot of forward moving energy which shows itself with the eight of wands you know i'm not sure why that showed itself taurus but there's just so many energies happening definitely journeys going on with you taurus and there's balance and a wish coming true and new beginnings and the pain that you have felt is over ten of swords you know it's just it's trying to show you that the strife, the darkness that you may have faced from this point on is ending. There's a new beginning in Leo season for you, the Fool card, the Leo card. And this is your energy. You know, this is your energy right now as I record this video, Taurus. And you may be waiting for a few things, you know, but it, you know, it's not always bad to, to slow down and wait because these energies, just like I've watched a few astrology videos about the month of August and a lot of astrologers are saying that it's not the best time to do something. You know, it's just a time to kind of go inward spiritually. Um, and, you know, there's so much going on with our astral bodies and with our, our bodies in the universe that for us to actually move in a physical realm could throw some things off. So, Taurus, you're not alone, are you? <laughs> you have, like, so much good energy. And the blessings are definitely coming in for you. And I have a Taurus moon, so I'm definitely applying this to my subconscious. Interesting. But yeah, Taurus, I don't really think we need to worry. There's definitely balance coming to us. Definitely, definitely the balance of an angels. And Virgo season is approaching, you know. So I'm very, very excited to do those videos as well. That'll be a lot lighter in September when Mercury goes back direct. You know, don't worry too much about the Mercury retrograde because Taurus, 
you guys just live such on point lives you know i hope you guys know that like you're just so stable and you make really good decisions you give the best advice and you're just great and you know as a taurus moon i really appreciate taurus energy i can learn a lot from you guys but yeah you know it's a little crazy right now you know but we will hopefully make it out on the other side into september in virgo season when like I said, things will slow down. Right now is more so the, the um, what am I trying to say, like the excitement of energies, you know, like the explosions of things going every single way, like a globe, like kind of like a globe when you turn it upside down and there's all, it's all that chaos and then it settles eventually, you know, and I think that'll come more so in September and I'm, you know, looking forward to doing the videos and channeling some energy and some messages, some guidance for you guys around that time. So we will talk more then.